Chapter 545, A Triple Champion. Time swiftly progressed until the seventh and last day dawned. The participants all had extremely solemn expressions on their faces. That is, all of them, apart from Zhang Chen. He was completely confident in his results. Under the yoke of the art of spirit reaping, the five seventh level saint rank seeds had grown exceptionally well. Even if the judging was to start at that very moment, they would be identified supreme rank spirit herbs. The twenty seedlings in the left half were shrunken, as if they really hadn't gotten the chance to grow. That was only natural, since the formation was siphoning the spirit energy they produced and using it to fertilize the five seedlings in the other half. The growth of the twenty seedlings had been purposefully stunted. They had only grown so as to keep the formation active. However, removal of the five seedlings that was the recipient of their energy would allow the twenty undernourished seedlings to return to their original vitality. In the end, they would be none the worse for wear. On the seventh day, the heavyweights of each sect started craning their necks to examine each of the candidate's seedlings. Although they were too far away for a detailed observation, the color and size of the seedlings could allow them to form a rudimentary judgment. Zhang Chen's seedlings had soared ahead of all the others. The most astonishing thing about his crop was that their growth had been evenly distributed across all the seedlings. As if they shaken hands on in agreement, each of the seedlings were even in height, size, looks, luster and quality. They were flawless. This kind of balanced development was the most frightening aspect of his seedlings. In contrast, Although Ding Tong's seedlings had had the aid of a heaven-defying spirit liquid, there was still obvious individual differences between all of his seedlings. This was enough to demonstrate that his abilities had yet to reach perfection. In contrast, Mu Jiki had performed extremely well, ending up neck and neck with Ding Tong. Although Wei Zinger possessed an innate constitution of fire, it didn't prove to be an advantage in this round of spirit herb cultivation. Her performance was just passable, yet Wei King's crop was only surpassed by Zhang Chen, Ding Tong, and Mu Jiki. The seventh day finally came to an end, and the candidates were all instructed to vacate their area. A loud hubbub occurred as the candidates made their way out of their respective areas. Once again, each of the crop yields were carefully scored, and their totals tallied. Zhang Chen once again took home full marks for this round with no contest at all, becoming a stunning triple champion. His overall score was an absolutely flabbergasting 1,400 points. His grasp on the champion seat was almost a sure thing. Ding Tong was runner-up for this round, but he'd only received 540 points in this round for a total of 1,270, placing him second overall. The most surprising result came from Mu Jiki. He'd actually received 540 points as well, and his overall score had shot up to a stunning 1,250 points, vaulting him into third place overall. Wei King had leveraged his performance in this round to overtake Wei Zinger, taking the fourth place in rankings with 1,220 points. Wei Zinger was now in fifth place with 1,200 points due to mediocre performance in the third round. Ling Byer had done better than Wei Zinger, closing the gap and now occupying sixth place overall. She was just 10 points behind. Next, Shen Qingong, Zhu Fiang, Lin Hai. Yuan Yuan and Wang Han actually all had identical scores, 1,180 points, and occupied the 7th to 11th positions. That did mean that the difference between Wei Zinger's 5th ranking and Wang Han's 11th rank was simply a matter of 20 points. It also meant that one of the top geniuses was destined to be pushed down to 11th. A single rank's difference may be small, but there was a world of difference in the level of treatment between 10th and 11th. The top 10 could enter Mount, Ripley Mirage and Harvest for 20 days, but the next 10 could only enter for 10 days and then only after 10 days had elapsed for the top 10. It was obvious that their chances of getting anything good would be greatly decreased. Therefore, after the three rounds were over, the competition for the top ten instantly heated up. The struggle over number ten was actually fiercer than the struggle over the championship. With how things had developed, the championship was originally up to the top four candidates. However, Zhang Chen's momentum in taking full marks for each round was slowly sending his competition up the wall. Those going up against him could only feel a deep sense of helplessness. No matter how optimistic they tried to be, they had to admit that as long as Zhang Chen performed at his usual level in the fourth round, there was almost no hope for them to seize the championship from his hands. Ding Tong in particular had a belly full of iron and nowhere to vent. He'd almost gone on a rampage when he learned that Zhang Chen had taken full marks again. He'd used a heaven-defying spirit liquid in this round, barely skirting the lines of cheating. Even with that, he'd not only failed to close the distance between them, but the gap had widened instead. What was the point of the fourth round if this sort of pattern continued? Ding Tong was here for the championship. Taking home second place would be nothing but a humiliating failure. But sadly, the only thing he could do when faced with this kind of Zhang Chen was to huff. Puff and glare. On the other hand, it was Mu Jiki who surprised everyone. Apart from Palace Head Dan Kai knowing what had happened behind the scenes, all the other heavyweights of the sect found this batch of Regal Pill Palace candidates to be incredibly mystifying. Dan Kai, your Regal Pill Palace is quite odd. Shen Qingong and Ling Bayer have the biggest reputations, but the true talents seem to be this Zhang Chen and Mu Jiki. Was this a facade to allow them to shine brilliantly? Dan Kai only smiled and refrained from commenting when he was asked these kinds of questions. We all know of Zhang Chen's background, but where did this Mu Jiki come from? The Regal Pill Palace disciples truly take our breath away in astonishment. Dan Kai smiled faintly. Wei Wu Lang, do you want to investigate Mu Jiki now? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. He's always been a Regal Pill Palace disciple. He's just kept a lower profile. Mu Jiki's sudden rise and unimpeded momentum to reach the top three was now forcing Wei King and Wei Zinger of the walkabout sect to occupy fourth and fifth. Wei Wu Lang was finding this a rather bitter pill to swallow. However, Mu Jiki's heaven-defying performance in the spirit herb cultivation round was above reproach. 
and the farce of investigating Zhang Chen couldn't be repeated on Mu Jiki. It would only invite contempt and scorn. Face was as thin as tree bark, and although Wei Wu Ying was thick-skinned, he wasn't that shameless. Instead, it was Wang Jian Yu who spoke sourly. One at fifth level origin realm and the other at third level origin realm. Are the Pil Dao geniuses of the Regal Pil Palace all cultivated on the foundation of sacrificing Marshall Dao? At this point, he was reduced to nitpicking, like looking for a bone in an egg. Oh Lei Wang, this should resonate deeply with your Sacred Sword Palace. Sacrificing Pil Dao for Marshall Dao, why else does your Sacred Sword Palace always come in last at the Pil Battles? Dan Kai laughed softly, obviously not leaving Wang Jian Yu any face. The latter snorted coldly, Marshall Dao's strength is ultimately the support for the establishment of a sect. As strong as Pil Dao is, it will never amount to much. Dan Kai was quite contemptuous of this kind of perspective. There's only a few years until the myriad grand ceremony. We'll see just how much weight your so-called martial might holds then. Whether folks accepted it or not, Zhang Chen's dominating score was evident, and Brooke not an ounce of skepticism. After seven days of spirit herb cultivation, many of the candidates were exhausted, and so the competition was paused for everyone to rest for a day. This was a perfect time to adjust themselves, but it didn't matter to Zhang Chen. His performance in the three rounds had left him assured that the championship was already in the bag. The fourth round was one of pill refining and he believed that as long as he performed up to his usual standards, the championship wouldn't go to anyone else. Bill refining was one of his strengths. After all, Brother Chen, a triple champion. That's wonderful. I knew those people were just gifting you the spirit stones. Ha ha ha. Mu Jiki looked sincerely happy for Zhang Chen. You're performing well, Jakey. It looks like your strength of heart has increased. Keep your cool and you may remain number three after the fourth round. Mu Jiki was in noticeably good spirits. He laughed. Brother Chen, my goal before was to enter the top ten. Now, it looks fully attainable so I don't have any mental pressure and can display my abilities to their fullest. Everyone is strongly refining pills, but I'll try my best to remain in the top 10 and go for top 5. Mm. Waking and Wei Zinger from the walkabout sect are all strong opponents. It's a logical outcome if any of you three can make it into the top 10. However, I believe that we'll be able to widen the gap between new and the others in at most 10 years. An innate wood constitution of high order was a rare existence in even the upper eight realms, and was absolutely a potential that lorded over everyone else in the myriad domain. Ling Byer came to visit as they were chatting, and Mu Jiki smiled ambiguously when he saw her. He chuckled, I'll go away now, Brother Chen. Zhang Chen pretended that he was going to smack Mu Jiki a good one when he saw how the latter's smile was asking to be hit. Mu Jiki ducked, clutching his head, and scurried off with that cheeky grin still plastered on his face. Junior brother, it looks like that little scamp Mu Jiki is truly looking up to you. Ling Byer also smiled softly when she saw Mu Jiki thus. She felt that relationships between fellow sect disciples should indeed be this heartwarming. Please take a seat, Senior Sister Byer. Ling Byer nodded slightly, congratulations to you, Junior brother. It looks like you've locked in the championship of the pill battles already, Zhang Chen didn't put on airs as he nodded with a smile. The palace head and elder Yunni have given their marching orders, I dare not return without it. Ling Bai immediately felt her heart lighten when she saw how serious Zhang Chen was. She somehow felt a boundless source of magic from Zhang Chen, that somehow anything that was impossible would be possible if he put his hand on it. After repeated psychological impacts, she now had great confidence in Zhang Chen. Perhaps he really could cure the divine befuddlement miasma that had tormented her father for more than ten years. When she thought of this, Ling Bai had to suppress the urge to sob. Zhang Chen's image had become greater and greater with increasing clarity in her heart. He would unconsciously float to the top of her mind every day and night. The two of them looked at each other, and Ling Byer somehow felt a bit shy when she met Zhang Chen's relaxed and easy gaze. She hadn't had much of a purpose in visiting him this time, merely wanting to take a look at Zhang Chen and congratulate him. It was at this time that a sweet and soft voice traveled in from outside. Senior brother Zhang Chen, little sister Wei Zinger is so bold as to come visit you. 